so I and I had also heard that you you did a lot of music videos early on too. Yeah, that's why that kind of bled into it. Um, Hardware was shot winter of 1989, which was a, a particularly good um, transitional period in um, in London. There was a lot of um, interesting stuff going on, and we had people around at the time, so we were lucky to be able to um, yeah pull together um, yeah John Lydon, um, Lemmy, um, Paul McCoy, um, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a, a crazy, um, even um, Pavarotti gave us a free track of the, um, the Stab at Marta piece. And so uh, how did, you, what was the connection from you to like Iggy and John Lydon? Did you, had you known them or met them or did you have like a connection through a friend of a friend type of a thing or or what? Actually, Public Image Limited were the first people to um, to give me a big job in my life. I mean, um I made wow. the um, the jump up from um, shooting with the Super 8 camera and like, having a, a friend pushed me around in the wheelchair to having a um, a full union crew and a, a train and um, makeup truck vans, etc. When I did the jump from into doing um, public image yeah. videos. What well, now, did, you, did you now? What videos did you do from them? Did you do all of them? Um, no, it was just on the Happy album, which was one of oh. the yeah. Um, my advent was something called the body, and I think it only happened because um, the idea I put in was so outrageous that um, we, it must have made them smile. What is it like uh, to work with John Lydon? Fabulous. Everybody, uh, funny, uh, ra uh, random, but a uh, good friend of mine, uh, Michael Lago, he's very good friends with him, and uh, he would always tell me great stories about him and how he's such a, he's such a nice guy. Yes. I really enjoyed the documentary, the the PIL documentary, uh, and uh, and watching a lot of things. I th I think that people don't understand that. I I think that you know public perception of kind of the the Johnny Rotten thing and then the John Lydon thing they're they're very separate. You know what I mean from what I from what uh, I could see. You know what I mean when you watch him talk about his wife or his real life. It's this complete separation from the uh, the persona and the obnoxiousness of, you know, this this uh, overbearing character per se. You know, what I mean, yeah. which which I re I really have enjoyed that. So knowing that you work with them, that's that's fucking really cool. Yeah, I knew him over a number of years, and um, an example was um, he, he drank a lot of Red Stripe was his favorite beer, and. Um, I remember um, from the time we shot the first video, seeing him sitting there with the plastic rings that went around the beer cans, um, tearing up the little bits of plastic and sort of breaking the rings. And then um, a few few years later, at the time of hardware, seeing him doing the same thing, I asked him, you know, why do you do that? So I thought it was like popping the plastic bubbles and right. um, bubble wrap or something. It was a nervous gesture. And he said, well, um, when they compress the garbage, these things don't break up and they can, uh, um, seabirds and animals can get tangled in them. How funny. Wow. <laughs> and he would, he'd be doing that consistently for ages. <laughs> right, and every to get something up. So what, um, what are some of the other bands that you worked with that you enjoyed working with? Well, I got started with Fields of the Nephilim, which mm -hmm. um, I think bled into, bled into hardware. And that's really oh, wow. where um, yeah the the first couple of Nephilim videos um, start to look like the um, the the hardware world. Right. So I think we were, yeah, already um, we're already rehearsing it. It's funny so, because you know I, I, when when you see the movie Hardware, you like mentally, uh, my brain does go to that that time and place. You know what I mean? Of like uh, some of those, it's almost like. Uh, like you wonder, you know, did did fucking Trent Reznor and Nine Inch Nails from the first uh, videos where they're in the tape, did they see like a film like this and go, oh, fuck that? You know, what I mean, this aesthetic, this look, you know, what I mean, because mm -hmm. it it does uh, it, it gives me that feeling of like, uh, you know, like I, I immediately am taken to that time and place just me personally because um 
uh, connected to music, my brain goes right to ministry, Nine Inch Nails, like that time and place of that. Feeling. Yeah, uh, ministry was just starting. So, uh, yeah, super lucky to be on the, on the cusp. Yeah. Uh, a lot of industrial stuff going on. Hardware yeah. feeds off, um, yeah, um, Mark Pauline's survival research uh, material in, um, uh, in London, the Mutoid Waste Company. Um, a lot of the stuff from the 80s that was, I guess, just about to die and the, the 90s came along and cleaned everything up. It was the, the end of a lot of um, a lot of authentic grudge. 